All right, so I preface this video by saying this. We're not going to play the blame game, right? Now, let's talk about Deja's live. Deja went on live, I'm guessing, a couple of days ago to talk about the situation between her and Mike. She said since the age of 16, she's been on her own. She left her mother's house because her mother was a drug addict. And from that time, she was working around 16 was the time that she got pregnant. Fast forward to 2021. She just had a wedding a couple of days ago to this dude. The part that bothers me is the fact that this young woman is 18 years old, right? And that's not the only problem. Dude has known her since she was an infant because she is his goddaughter. And also, he dated her mother. You know, there are a lot of red flags in the video that I saw. This girl said that, oh, you young hoes or older hoes, you guys are jealous. And then she started calling the young men that kept on commenting on her posts or going to a page. She kept on calling them gay, but she didn't use that word. She used the F word. You, you guys know what I'm talking about. And she said, like, you know, I got my own money. He has his own money. He has cars. We don't ever have to pay to get into the club. You know, yeah, probably because... Dude was a former drug trafficker, so he probably moved weight all around Florida. Not only that, but also the fact that he's over 21. You are 18. You shouldn't even be allowed to drink because it's not even legal. But my point is this. It's the fact that whatever village she came up in, those people did not look out for her. And the fact that she's 18 and she's a mother. Now she says that she's going to college to become a registered nurse. All right, cool, fine, whatever. But the fact that you threw away your whole life for a man that could be the age of your actual father. It sickens a lot of people. And she doesn't realize that she's a victim. But I guarantee you, in the next couple of years, in a few years, she will be on Steve Wilkos. Or will hear a story about how she was brainwashed, controlled, and manipulated. You see, we live in a world right now where we see things, but we don't say nothing. So all of these people that are reaching out on social media, some are clowns, true, but there are actually those that do care about you and do care about the state and the welfare and the well-being of not only you, but also your kids as well. Imagine 18 years old, you got your whole life ahead of you and you decide to marry a man that age, a man that's known you since you were an infant. You were born in 2003. Like somebody has to explain this to me because it's not adding up. It's not making sense. And... What did he do to your mother? What happened to their relationship? There are a whole lot of questions. There's a lot of holes. One thing I do know, the man is a predator and he's a pedophile. And I believe he's been grooming this young, young woman. Peace.